On December 2, a rumor about Hui Ka Yen, or Su Jiain jumping to his death spread quickly on the internet. It was reported that Su jumped off a building in Changsha, and he's dead. There was also news that Hengqi Automobile headquarters was disbanded, and Su's new energy vehicle business was over. The rumors about Su's suicide did not end until he appeared in the meeting. Until around 7 p.m., Evergrande Group released pictures and videos of Su's attendance. At the special meeting of Baojia Building. By the way, Baojia Building is a political term issued by Chinese government to ensure timely deliveries of Prezold homes. Su didn't commit suicide, and the Hengqi Automobile headquarters was not disbanded, it was just a large-scale suspension of work and arrears of wages. As Chinese netizen said, Oscar owes Su a statuette. However, we also suddenly found that the hair on the forehead of Su in the video is much thinner. It turned out that Su, who sold villas, airplanes, and the Shenzhen headquarters building to repay his debts, was still under great pressure. It is also reported that the headquarters of Evergrande Automobile Group will be disbanded. After it was revealed that the Tianjin factory planned to lay off 60% of its employees, Evergrande was deeply involved in wage arrears and layoffs. Coupled with the fact that Hengqi 5 cannot be mass-produced due to its brand and reputation, Evergrande's road to car manufacturing has become more and more difficult. So, what are the similarities between the failure of Hengqi 5 and the crisis of Evergrande? Is Su Jiayin the one to blame for this crisis? Hi! Welcome to Auto Age, and let's move on to today's topic. In fact, after the delivery of Hengqi 5 started on October 29, according to the plan, the delivery target of 10,000 vehicles will be completed in the first quarter of next year. That is, an average of 1,667 vehicles are delivered every month. This clearly became a mission impossible. In order to promote this car, Hengqi also created a brand new transaction method, the car payment is only required when the car is delivered, and the car can be returned and refunded within 15 days after picking up the car. In addition, the car purchase money is not sent to the Evergrande account, but to the special account of the notary office, and the repurchase is guaranteed with a 40% discount for three years. This is undoubtedly to declare by Evergrande car, don't worry. But obviously, that doesn't help. In fact, more than a month after the start of delivery, the Hangqi 5, which is known as the best battery electric SUV within 300,000 yuan, has not only failed to meet the delivery standard, but is even more like a semi-finished product. Problems include false battery life, car software problems, and more. As the first mass-produced car, Hengqi 5 did not take the lead as expected, but brought the negative impact of quality defects. On July 6, the long-overdue Hengqi New Energy's first mass-produced car, the Hengqi 5, officially opened pre-sales, and its luxury version was 179,000 yuan. At the press conference, Hengqi also announced a set of data, 2,483 authorized patents and 3,413 patents are being applied for in core areas such as vehicle manufacturing, intelligent network connection, and power batteries. In addition, Hengqi has also established the Global Research Institute and the Global Battery Research Institute, and has introduced more than 2,000 top international scientific research talents to carry out research and development work simultaneously in China, Sweden, South Korea, Japan, and other places. However, resource integration is the core Evergrande model, which obviously does not work in the automotive industry. As Hegel said, the only lesson man learns from history is that he learns nothing from it. Su, who was born in Joko, Hunan in 1958, started from scratch, seized the opportunity of the good times, and devoted himself to the Chinese real estate market. Now, on November 28, Evergrande sold the parcel of Evergrande headquarters in Shenzhen Bay for 7.54 billion yuan. Prior to this, Su repeatedly emphasized the three months of hard work in the car manufacturing business. 
Evergrande Automobile Group, which he placed high hopes on, however, was rumored to be disbanding its headquarters. Car manufacturing requires an industrial chain, and no one in the supply chain is a fool. Now, which one is willing to develop together with Evergrande? Therefore, Heng Chi is facing the end of the whole drama. In 2016, authorities once warned that the most dangerous thing is to pursue the best of both worlds unrealistically. It's a pity that Su, who was sitting on the throne at the time, heard this sentence the wrong way. In 2018, Su solemnly announced that Evergrande's diversified industrial layout has been completed. On the one hand, Evergrande pursues the expansion of scale, constantly increasing leverage, surpassing Vank and Country Garden, becoming the world's largest real estate company and the richest man. On the other hand, he spends money without restraint for diversified development, health industry, tourism industry, and new energy vehicles with an investment of more than 300 billion. It is said that Sue once regretted and lamented that he should reduce his debts in 2017 and not diversify, otherwise Evergrande would not be what it is today. But, do you believe it? Anyway, I don't believe it. How can a person who forces his subordinates to call him President Sue bow his head and admit his mistake like this? It is said that in Evergrande, he likes to be called the President Sue. Besides, the employees around him must be on standby 24 hours a day, waiting for the boss to summon him at any time. It is said that many employees have suffered a nervous breakdown. Character determines destiny. This was once again confirmed by Sue. His ambition has made many people believe in him. When Su Jiain was in glory, he acted like a godfather among his subordinates. However, now, Every time Evergrande holds a meeting, as long as it dares to announce it publicly, a large number of creditors will come to attack the meeting hall shouting very unpleasant slogans. This kind of acting personality and emperor-like airs are destined to be a retreat in the company. In just over five years, Evergrande's debt has increased by 1.36 trillion yuan, which will finally lead to the debt crisis in 2021. Amidst the recession, the capital market no longer believes that Evergrande can create miracles. Evergrande, which once ranked 122nd in the world's top 500, is about to bid farewell to the stage of history. The irony is that although the Evergrande group is in danger, Su Jiain's personal life is not bad. Even if he sold a lot of personal assets, he is still a rich man. However, the situation of Evergrande is not optimistic. It can be summed up in one sentence, it's time to carve up Evergrande. Sue, who used to enjoy drinking and watching football with Ma Yun, must now be envious of Ma Yun who lives comfortably in Tokyo. However, Su Jiain is not only definitely unable to leave China, but also, in the historical process of China's auto industry, he is doomed to fail to achieve achievements, leaving only a laughingstock. So far, there is no Su Jiain for making cars. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Do you want to learn about more auto stories? Please keep following our channel and like our videos. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.